I wonder if any of those Republic space points survived I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. <laughs> money if he if he just gives me a little more time please i don't want to die here i've got 50 credits on me that's all i've got it's yours just don't tell dabik where i'm hiding okay i'm begging you you mean you're not here to kill me but uh, i thought you were one of dabik's bounty hunters if you're not here to kill me what do you want I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since, but sooner or later someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits, I'm a dead man. Thank you. You've saved my life. At least until one of Davik's bounty hunters finds me. What's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later. Than that. Is this really necessary? Oh, well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why don't you say so? I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions, it's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't end up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people, and for what? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Hell no. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. 
I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not gonna discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. Don't! Don't hurt my family! Look, just take what you want and get out! He's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lara says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. A drink? Hey! For a Slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys. This Slummy's buying the next round. <laughs> No way, forget it. No more drinks. We're light enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Chinapala Mula, 
ton ki ba non ton Tangabun shan om nong wanga kun beast kin ba mula rak choni yun tun gigi either Tanga book sha um nak nong kin kun Listen to me. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlong Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past.
Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising... Welcome to the equ because of the Sith. to the because of this
presentation in store for you. He's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for... Mo! But the... He's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids, but there's always some...
welcome to become. heading down to the lower city. Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean.
ci gratulo da pograsion. Kaci kun idahal dom. Takum justak miki grabul mogo. Runda diho tonga jedo bado wana ni di bo. Kuyami jus chikata na. Stranger, my name is Gelrud. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. There's no justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the Upper Cantina. Since then, I've been desperate to find a match. Excellent. My funds were getting somewhat low. But luck just wasn't with you. How dare you accuse me of cheating? It's not my fault you lost. I'm just a good player with a strong deck. Maybe you just need more practice. Or maybe you need to buy some better cards. Go talk to Uriah over there. He can sell you some cards to improve your deck. Unless you want to play again right now. Excellent. My funds were... Thank <laughs> you. 
played well in our last. If you're ever looking for. Go away. Kipona! Kava tumpa kulpai ya moka paata! Chi yoka ku tumpa kulpai ya! One! Boska! Chiska nichu! Da hupa botenya go gigi piti! Kipuna! Kava tumpa kulpai ya moka paata! Chi yoka ku tumpa kulpai ya! Two! Chi yoka ku! Kimba muli rat wana ji! Three. Normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some. My name's Holden. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Davik Kang. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver him. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. Fine by me. That. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. <laughs> Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Zalbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Chubasa! Kimba! everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... You going? Yeah, this dive's pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base.
I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a... Official Let's All Bother Holden Day. Can't you see I'm trying to watch the dancing girls? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. You're threatening me? I work for Davik Kang. If you kill me, you'll be signing your own death warrant. Do us both a favor and don't waste my time with stupid threats. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay, either with her life or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. You can do that if you want, but I doubt she's got 200 credits. That's a lot, and she's just a working girl. But that's the brakes, right? Fine by me. That means...
here. Here. Kipuna. Kavatumpa kupaliya moka paata. Chiyoka. Watawama mulira king konjo peshak. Kachi chuaitha odunga. In king kuno ba mulira chikun. Slima pot. We itha nadana itya. Watayuma kawa. Ui, itha nadana itya. Kunti chani. Takum just tak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu aitha. Mana mana tota. Aku chikra tuk pola. Jishok chonatong. Watawama mulira. King konjo peshak. No ba mulira ji. Tong hai tuam ji ji yumalith pa ang inko tu. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it.
Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I, well, it won't happen again. That's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Who's <laughs> 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 
Welcome to the... Because of this... to a punky tanga bunshan tanga box What do you want now? You're not going to tell... I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik... I've been hiding here ever since. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. 
Thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. Na praka donko tsercha. Rundi i chawa tongbola Johnny Ku. Yuma wama nibo lora waisha waga shichi. Na praka donka tsercha. Welcome to the... Because of this... Welcome to... 
Because of the Sith... Another patrol heading down. You better. Another patrol heading down to the lowest. You better. Jikin Lord Jawa Dauma? Tony Pudu Rana no pra. Shashak Pangpa, Inkin Kun no Ba Mulri Rachi Kun, Takum Justak Miki Grabal Mogo, Kachi Tongai Tuam Jiji Yumalithpa.
Chiyoka Kondolera. Kiyo Kondyo Pesha. Noga Moleraji. Go, Chachis Kadom Bota. Kasabuba Kachibedu Amani Bobo. Kachicho Naita Odunga. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? What the plan from what lots of You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? What the plan from what You got it. to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful! I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did. Ha! 
How'd you like that? Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tunipudu! Rana no prata don't know. Wapama wama munira! Can't you. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Vex in line. The Grezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan.
Right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? You're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. I bet. <laughs>
roca con bolera y en chibe de anani Kachi chunda y zao dunga Chibe de anani bobo Argue some more, is that it? And I don't want to argue with you either. I mean, you seem sincere enough, I guess. I just don't trust easily, and for good reasons, which are my own. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago. Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think. This is me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? It wasn't even that. Th there were others. Good, solid men, trusted men who turned on us as well and joined their cause. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done, but the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve it. It's just... No, oh, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it.
You beat ice. I've been trying to beat her for years. That's... Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But in this corner. watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Well, I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. There's no way you're bringing me in. This cantina is wired with a top-level security grid. You pull a weapon on me and the auto-fire turrets will fry you before you can even pull the trigger. Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, a place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my dueling career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of miss the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. I've seen you in the duel ring. You're just good enough to spark my interest. So I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect that bounty for killing me. Finally, fresh meat. Azur will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Hey, I know you! You're the mysterious stranger, right? 
Everybody's saying you're gonna fight Bendix Starkiller in an illegal death match. You know, Bendix never lost a match in his life, right? You need to take a look at my weapons and armor. Because of the Sith quarantine.
Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, a living legend, a man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots if any of them were still alive. <laughs> and who would be crazy at play? And now. Ladies, in this corner, a living legend, a man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots if any of them were still alive. <laughs> Make his opponent shake in their boots if any of them were still alive. <laughs> and who would be? And Thank you. 